All right, let's talk about it together. Well, let me let me let me put it to a vote. Put it to a vote. There's two terms here, so let's just assume one of these is a mistake. Who thinks the mistake is this negative 18? Who feels like the mistake is this negative 14x? Who would like to explain why negative 14 is not correct? Mac? Well, it's saying negative, and so a negative and a positive, but I think it's, well, so if you're minusing and adding the, the, uh, I don't know. Well, maybe so, maybe do it this way. Like, how did they come up with negative 14x? Because they added 5 and 9. They added 5x plus 9x and got 14x. Yeah. Okay. So who wants to add on to that and say why well, that's a mistake? Sure. Um, two things. One, do you want to tell them <laughs> Nope. I want you to answer my question. Okay. Um, the reason why it's not negative 14x is because you need that, line, you need that line with the minus there. So minus like the final product. Yeah. Um, when you get five x plus nine x, and then you do five twenty three, you need to have something between those two to have like to make an actual math problem. So you need minus the final product, like the right two numbers and left two numbers. So it should be fourteen x. It should be 14x, not negative 14x. It should be plus 14x. Yeah. yeah. It should be plus 14 So there's a plus, so I hear maybe that the correct thing would be plus 14x. What, what, are the, what other ideas do we have for what might be correct, Jasper? Well, instead of seeing it as a, instead of seeing it as a negative 14x, you can see it as a negative 5x plus 9x, which would make it positive 4x. Okay, so the, the, the mistake that a lot of people are making is that they're not paying attention to the sign in front of the term. Okay, so this is not really a 5x. What is it? A negative 5x. Okay, it's the complete opposite of 5x. It's a negative 5x. Okay, so what should it come out to be? It should be negative 18. What? Minus plus 4x. Right here, plus a lot. Plus 4x? Yeah. Plus 4x. Yes, it should be negative 18 plus 4x. Okay. So what mistake did Lily make? She mistakenly added the 5x and the 9x and got negative 14x. She just added 5x and 9x and said, there's a negative, and I'll just carry that negative through. To help Lilia and maybe some of the rest of us, understand why that's not correct, I want you to use a number line to explain why the result of negative 5x plus 9x should be a positive 4x. So draw a number line, you know what a number line looks like, right? It starts like this, two arrows. Use a number line to explain to Lilia or anybody who's making this mistake and has any confusion about this, why the result should be a positive 4x. Okay? Draw out a number line and do just that. As I walk around, I see two different number lines, okay? Uh, let me show you one of them that I'm seeing. I see a nine. I'm gonna go ahead and throw an X on there. Starting at nine X, and then what does this person do from nine X? Go back five. Go back five, okay. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Right there. Well, if I go back five from nine, where does it put me? Four, four, four X. So uh, eight, seven, six, five, four x. Okay. The other number line that I see is this one. Starting back here, where do you think I'm? Negative start five. Start negative five x. <laughs> right. And then we go where? Forward Plus nine. Forward nine. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Puts us at zero. Six, seven, eight, nine. That's at four. There we go, we have 4x, right? which is showing us the commutative property of addition, okay? I'm adding a negative 5x and a positive 9x, and either which way I look at it, 9x minus 5x, 4x. Negative 5x plus 9x, 4x. Okay. All right, next up. 
Greg has done well. That's why he has a green check on his work, okay? But I want you to answer this question in the purple step. What did Greg do to help himself avoid mistakes? And then we'll talk about why I'm bringing this up and what kind of mistakes I see. Okay, Olivia says she knows what Greg did. Can you arrange the problem differently so that the variables were, the numbers of the variables were next to each other, so so would you say that uh, Greg um, put the like terms, uh, terms together? Like actually put them next to each other. And the thing is, the reason I bring it up is because some people do this or some version of this, but they forget that this is a negative 5x, okay? And there's a whole bunch of different kinds of mistakes that I don't want to get into the specifics of what the mistake is, but the main thing that if, if you remember is make sure that the sign that the term has at the beginning is the sign that the term has throughout the entire problem. If you combine it with some other like term, make sure that that combination reflects the sign that it started with, okay? So we would have a 3x minus a 5x. Do, do I have to rewrite it with 3x minus 5x right next to each other? Of course I don't, right? I know that 3x minus 5x is 2x, or sorry, negative 2x, okay? Um, and I don't have to put them next to each other to see that. If I don't make this mistake, like getting 3x minus 5x, or, or seeing 3x and 5x and getting 8x, that's a mistake that happens, okay? Getting positive 2x, I just made that mistake myself. I said 2x when it was negative 2x. Okay. If you put them next to each other, probably less likely to make that kind of mistake. So make the signs follow the numbers that they started with. It started positive, remains positive throughout until I combine it with a like term. It's negative, stays so negative until I combine it with a like term at some point. Okay? <coughs> and we can hit on a common mistake there, number two. All right, so again, in your notes, don't shout it out loud. I want you to tell me what is it that this person has done incorrectly in the blue step. All right, who wants to explain to us what it is the mistake that uh, Buck has made? Uh, isn't it that he got negative 20 because it's just 4 minus something? Uh, how did he get negative 20 then? How did he do it? Four times five. Four times five. Is he four times five? What? What would these little arches indicate that Buck has done? Distributed. Distributed. Distributing is multiplying, right? It's how we multiply a thing by a parentheses. Any, if there's anything that's multiplied by the parentheses, the way that we do that is distribution. Well, supposed to be or could be or two different things. Could there be? Yeah, it would be exactly equal to what we see here. Does there have to be a one there? Maybe it doesn't have to be a one there. And I'm saying, well, let, let's, let's do this next part and talk about, okay? So without using numerals, meaning if you're going to write four, write F-O-U-R instead of the numeral four, okay? The Arabic numeral four. So... To start with this, the thing that this says, like if it said a thing in a speech bubble, it would start with four. And you finish it. Finish it, write it out in words, what this thing says. Okay, who'd, li who'd like to read it off for us what is being said? Yes, Kelly. Four minus one, then parentheses, five x plus seven parentheses. Four minus one, sorry, one. Then parentheses <coughs> and what? Five x. Five. Well, oh, you're doing the same thing I said not to. Five x plus seven. Plus seven. Four 
minus one then. What does then mean? I'm sure they're very close here. Yes? Uh, what did you do? It's not a very like mathematical word or set of words. Right? Mathematically, we have numbers, we have operations. Then it's not an operation. But like and or something. Or and one. what is it? What am I supposed to do? And how do I and numbers? Oh, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Multiply. Yeah. Multiply. Yeah. Multiply. Multiply. So we should say not then. Do we say like times? Time. Yeah. Okay, that's like a. a so this would be word, right? Four minus one times parentheses five x plus seven parentheses. What do we think about that? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So if no, I want you to pay close attention to this question. All right. If I was supposed to distribute the four, if I was supposed to distribute the four, then when I started to read it, it would say four. What would it say after that? Four times five x. Times. Seven. Times is what it would say. Four times parentheses five x plus seven. Does it say that? Is four multiplied by the parentheses? No. Am I running into the ground? This point? You see what I'm saying? Four is not being multiplied by the parentheses. It doesn't say four times the parentheses. If we want to read it with times in there somewhere, we, this would be good. Four minus. 1 times the parentheses, right? Or 4 plus, 4 plus negative 1, okay? 4 plus negative 1 times parentheses 5x plus 7. What I'm trying to get you to see is, is you see a number near some parentheses, and you just go for it, and you just distribute, okay? That shows that you have experience distributing that you've been in class and you've been paying some attention, but you're not paying attention to why we distribute. Why do we distribute? Solve it. No, there's no solving this. Solving would be, I, at the end I would tell you what Simple. x was. Just simple. It's, it's to do a mathematical operation. What mathematical operation are we doing when we distribute? Multiplying. Multiplying. Again, that's probably the fourth or fifth time you've said that today. We're multiplying. To distribute or to multiply something by parentheses, we distribute. Distributing is for multiplying. But four is not being multiplied by the parentheses. Okay. So, now as we read it, we can see what's being multiplied by the parentheses. What is being multiplied by the parentheses? The one. Almost? Four. Four? Is four being multiplied by the parentheses? One. I think we made this one. the point that it is not. Four is not being multiplied by the parentheses. Four is. One. What's it? Five. Negative one is being Negative multiplied one. by the parentheses. Negative one. Okay. So if we were to, uh, maybe we'll redo his work here. If I distribute a negative one into the parentheses, what will I wind up with? One. Negative five x. <coughs> What's that? Plus seven. Plus seven. Negative one times Negative seven. seven. Negative seven. If that seven didn't want to be a negative, like it would be the same as not having parentheses at all. The parentheses are there for a reason. Whoever wrote this problem put parentheses there on purpose. Parentheses are there to remind you that you are subtracting five x and you are subtracting seven. What does that look like? It looks like subtract five x, subtract seven. Subtract five x, subtract seven. Watch out! You're distributing. Make sure you're distributing the thing you're supposed to distribute. If I were to write a problem like this, 3 plus 4x minus 3, there's some parentheses. Looks like maybe since there's a parentheses, maybe some distribution should happen. What's being distributed into this parentheses? 1. It's like 1, a positive 1. So when I distribute the positive 1, what do I get? 3 plus 4. Minus, 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 minus three. 
positive 1 times negative 3 is negative. Positive times negative is negative. Negative times negative is positive. So it's like, why do I even have the parentheses in the first place? Right? In this case, nothing really changes if I were to just like disappear the parentheses. Nothing changes because all that's outside is a 1. Okay? Don't be over eager to distribute things. If you're going to distribute, make sure you distribute the thing that's being multiplied by the parentheses. And in this case, that was a positive. Okay. All right, so I have a little bit of somebody to hit the lights real quick. Thanks, Kelly. trench looks scary, you want to swim over it because it looks easier. But it turns out that what? Jellyfish. There's jellyfish. There's, there's unforeseen <laughs> dangers in swimming over the trench. Okay. So in our math class, what's the trench? Math itself? The problem is the trench. The problem is the trench? Yeah, and you have to go through it. Gotta tackle it. Right. You gotta tackle it, gotta not avoid it, and try to swim over it. Okay? So, the trench that I'm talking about that people try to swim over too often is, uh, you know, the problem, but specifically how we solve the problem, specifically equations, how we find a solution to an equation. Okay? So, let's look at some examples of people trying to go over this equation. Right? And just get to the, the destination as they see it, when really they don't understand what the destination is. Okay? So let's take a look. Actually, let's, let's start with the second example and work backwards. Okay? So here's a person, Kingsley. Um, I want you to not say this out loud. I want you to write it in your notes. I want you to answer this question and see if you really understand this. How does Kingsley use algebra to solve this equation? Okay? Don't say it out loud. Just tell me how they did it. All right, let's see who knows the answer to this. How did Kingsley use algebra to solve this equation? Algebra. What's algebra did Kingsley use? Yeah. Uh, 42 equals 6x. Yeah, that's algebra. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's 
that is algebra because a letter is representing a, representing a number. That's part of algebra, the, the symbols that we use. Okay, and then it stops there. Is that algebra? the equation 42 equals 6x and used a letter to represent a number, pretty much stopped using algebra. Yep. Right? Right. So how did he use algebra? He didn't. Did use algebra. What did he use? Uh, His mind. He just said, well, 6 times some number is 42. I know that number would have to be 7, so the answer is 7. But since the instructions say show your work, Kingsley tried to fake out his teacher and make it look like he did some work because there are numbers and he knows that the numbers are involved somehow or maybe the X's are involved somehow or maybe he's supposed to do something with a smiley face. Right? And tries to make it look like work was done when it's clear that it wasn't or at least it wasn't clear that algebra was used. It's not obvious that Kingsley understands what algebra is or how to people? use algebra. What's that? Are these real people? Sure. <laughs> sure. My horse is one of these real people. Okay. So there, there's Kingsley's work. He's he knows what X would have to be. Okay. Because he's a, a a relatively intelligent person. He knows that six times some number equals forty-two means that number would have to be seven. But. Uh, all he did was figure that out, and he did not use any algebra beyond the letter X. Beyond that, he didn't use any algebra. Okay. Because Kingsley thinks it sure is a lot easier to swim over this trench and just to say, I know what X has to be. I don't really know how to show it or how to find it or all the things that I hear from algebra students year after year after year who don't believe me, the school of fish. I'm the school of fish that says swim through the trench, not over it. Okay. Because if I just sat down with every person who said, well, I can just see it, I can step up the difficulty pretty quickly until I have an equation that they cannot solve by just looking at it. Okay. The equation 6x equals 25. You do not know, just by looking at it, what x is. If you can find it, then you're learning some algebra. If you can figure out what x is, you're using some algebra. If you're not sure how to figure out what x is, you're, you've been trying to swim over the trench. Okay? Swim through it. Swim through it looks like this. What should we do to solve this equation? 6x equals 25. Uh, oh. You have spices. Oh. Because 6 divided by 6 is what? One. It's 1. So we have a 1x. Is that good? Yes. Yeah, because 1 times x is just x. And we'll just say it's equal to 25 over 6. So x is 25 over 6. If you want to write this as a decimal, that's OK. But if it's not exact, then it's going to be correct. Okay. We have an exactly the right answer, 25 over 6. Any other decimal that you round off is going to be wrong. Okay. It's partially wrong. So how should this person usually <laughs> solve this equation, Ray? Uh, six on both sides. Divide by, divide by six on both sides. X. Is of course X is? Seven. Seven. Oh, Kingsley was right. X is seven. But Kingsley is finding seven over the trench. Right? Kingsley thinks he solved the problem. He swatted away that tiny, tiny jellyfish. But there's just this huge mass of jellyfish about to descend on Kingsley. Okay. Kingsley should have swam through the trench. Okay? Believe me, swim through the trench, 
do the silly little things like dividing by six on both sides, even though you can see the answer is seven. Because if you don't get in the habit of dividing by six on both sides, you don't have to solve this equation, and this equation is not that difficult. All right? And it's going to get more difficult than that. And it, it doesn't have to feel that difficult. Let's start now when 6x equals 42, and it's easy to check our answer and say, oh, I can see seven's right. I did it. Divide by six on both sides, but to give me seven, that is correct. OK? Let's go back to this one. So here's Athena. Athena. Athena's trying to use algebra, right? What is Athena doing on both sides of the equation? Multiplying by? Five over x. Now, did Athena multiply by 5 over x on both sides? Yeah. yeah. No. 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 <laughs> she just wrote times 5 over x on both sides. But did she multiply by 5 over x on both sides? Oh. No. 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 Let's multiply by 5 over x on both sides and see if we come up with 35 that easily. How do we multiply these fractions together? Straight across. Straight across. Let me move this down. And then I'll multiply these fractions straight across. 5 times x is? 5 times x. And x times 5 across the denominator is? 5x. 5x. All right, now this is 7 over 1. 35 over x. What's 5x divided by 5x? 1x. 1x. 1x or 1? 1. 1x. 1x. 1x over 1x. Just an x. Just an x. 5x over 5x. It's 0. Or one and you're zero and you're It's one. What is two divided by two? One. What is three divided by three? One. What is five divided by five? One. What's X divided by X? One. X. One. I just gave you a ton of examples of a number divided by the same number. One. What's X divided by X? One. X. It's one. One x. It's one. It's one because yes, I knew it. X is the same as x. We put any number you want in for x, and it's just one. 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 Every time. Plug a five in that x over x, you get five over five. That's one. Plug a seven in there, seven over seven is one. Plug a negative three over there, negative three over negative three is one. No matter what x is, you'll get one when you divide x by itself. So what do you get when you divide five x by five x? One. Just one. 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 Okay, just one. One. One x? Or no. No, just one. Oh, no. one. One. Just one. Because you're taking a number and dividing it by itself. Is there anything back up? No, no, no. I see it. Okay. Um, Sit it. So now we have multiplied by five x on both or five over x on both sides. We wound up with one equals <laughs> thirty-five over x. Now it's true. This is correct. This equation is correct. But it's not solved. It's more confusing. But we did do the same thing on both sides that Athena wrote down. We multiplied by 5 over x. But now we have this 1 equals 35 over x, and now x is in the denominator. Do we want x in the denominator? Uh, and why did Athena put x in the denominator? Should she have? Did she need to? No. Was there a reason to do it? No. So what should be there instead of x? Uh, one. one. Just a one. Okay. one. Let's put a one here. Let's see how that looks differently. Now we have five x over what? One. One. One, one times five. five. Just five. There's no x there anymore. And on this side, seven times five is thirty-five. Over one times one is just a one. So now we have what's five x divided by five? One. One x. One x. So x equals 35. Okay, so Athena, like several people I saw on the quest, did that thing, but it just gave you the answer. Didn't do any algebra. Tried. I mean, tried more than, what's his face, Kingsley. <laughs> tried, but still kind of was faking it, right? Was faking like they were doing algebra, and they just wrote the answer they knew that it had to be. Um, the, here we have this equation that looks just slightly different from any other equation we've done before. What do you think you would do to start with somebody who has not been on the phone books already? Brandon? Uh, 
match like the 5x and 3x together because they're both x. 5x minus 3x is how many x's? 2x plus 3x. Yeah. 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 The new thing is, combine like terms before you start. Okay. Or start by combining like terms. So now this looks like our good friend, the uh, two-step equation. So what would we do next? Oh, I heard you. So said Brandon. If we Hunter. Um, minus six. Minus six from both sides, so we'll get two x equals 18. There we go. And divide by 2 and we get x's. No. No. Okay, it's no different here. We have like terms. We combine the like terms. We have 1.2x minus 5.3x. Don't do that kind of stuff in my head uh, very often. Very busy man. Negative 4.5. X's. Plus 9. Equals 12. Now what? Now minus 9. Now minus 9, negative 4.1x equals 3. The numbers look funny, but we wouldn't really approach this any differently than the other problem that looks like this, Matt. What do we do now? Um, then you divide negative 4.1. Divide by negative 4.1. We get 1x equals negative 3 over 4.1, and you could well, you got your calculator, divide 3 by 4.1, and you'll get the answer you're looking for. Okay. This is our home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is. What you may have already done. Uh, uh, all right, hold on. I just need somebody to answer this question. What does your instinct tell you that you should do to start with, let's say, on this equation here, Brandon? Parentheses? Yeah. When you were the parentheses? Marcus? Distribute that negative 3. So negative 3x plus, plus minus. minus 6 plus 5x yep. equals negative 9. Okay. You know what this looks a lot like? The page before this, where we had like terms that we combined before we did anything else. Back up.